Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we're going to look at the radiation and absorption required practical for GCSE separate science physics which is found in the waves topic. So in today's lesson we're going to try to understand how different objects emit radiation. So if we're successful and we learn in today's lesson we can detail the process of emission and absorption, understand the emission and absorption rates of different objects and experimentally prove emission rates of objects and analyse experimental data which forms part of the GCSE specification in the waves topic in physics. So we're looking at 4.6.3.1, emission and absorption of infrared radiation, and 4.6.2.2, Require practical activity 10, investigate how the amount of infrared radiation radiated by a surface depends on the nature of that surface. Now, the following picture shows us a Leslie cube. This is a cube with sides painted in different colours. So there's one side of the cube which is dark and matte. In this instance, matte is a synonym for the word dull. So this is an example of a dark matte surface on your Leslie cube. Okay, one side of the cube is dark and shiny. Okay, so it looks like this. Another side Side the cube will be silver and shiny and look like this and one side of the cube is white and matte and looks like this. Now in this particular investigation hot water can be placed into the cube and is allowed to heat the cube up. So the cube reaches a thermal equilibrium with the hot water and then will emit the radiation due to the fact that it's got a high temperature. So in this investigation we're going to try and find the relationship between the colour of an object, in this case the surface of the Leslie cube cube and the rate of infrared radiation which we can measure by its temperature loss from the start of the investigation. So in this investigation you're going to require a light, a Leslie cube, a kettle, an infrared detector and a heat proof mat. So you'll put the Leslie cube on the heat proof mat, fill the Leslie cube with very hot water and put the lid on the cube so the apparatus looks like the following diagram. You then use the detector to measure the amount of infrared radiation from each surface which will be done by measuring the temperature of the radiation emitted from each side. You ensure the detector is not in contact with any side of the Leslie cube and you make sure the detector is the same distance from each surface and you measure the va this value one minute after the cube is filled up with very hot water. So you retrieve a kettle and use this to boil water. You then retrieve a Leslie cube and you place the Leslie cube on a heat proof mat. Now placing the Leslie cube on a heat proof mat prevents unwanted heat loss in the cube because we want to measure the energy Energy loss due to radiation, but the energy loss out the bottom of the cube in contact with the surface will be via conduction, so it would make the test inaccurate. We will then place a ruler against the, sur the edge of the surface, and this should be done for all four surfaces of the Leslie cube, and you secure the ruler in place with tape, as shown in this particular diagram. So it should look like this for the four different sides of your Leslie cube. You then pour the boiling water into the Leslie cube, and you place the rubber bung in the Leslie cube top. Now again doing this prevents heat loss via evaporation which is important because we want to measure heat loss via radiation in this investigation not evaporation. So you allow the sides of the Leslie cube to reach thermal equilibrium with the water which should take about three minutes. You then retrieve an infrared thermometer. Now this measures the temperature due to infrared emission. So it's important to know that it doesn't measure conduction or convection heat loss. So at this point you would point the thermometer at the surface you wish to measure. You press the red button once it measures the temperature at the object of the objects pointed at, and at this point you can then take your measurement. Now you place the thermometer 10 centimeters away from the surface. This allows you to measure the emission of radiation, not the surface temperature. Now it's important to note that the distance between the surface and the detector is a control variable in this investigation. It should be the same for all four services you carry out. Now in this example pressing the red button again can freeze the reading on the screen and it stays there for about 15 seconds allowing you to record your result. So just to clarify you always ensure the thermometer is 10 centimeters away from the surface and you carry out this reading of infrared uh, temperature by for each surface of the Leslie cube and repeat the reading for each surface four times and calculate an average value. Okay, so here we can see then an example of what's going on in this particular practical. So what will be taking place is you would have your you would have your infrared thermometer at 10 centimeters away from the cube, and at that point you can take your measurement. So 
it's important to note get that once you've taken your measurements you would fill in your results with the following observations so you would have this idea of the temperature of the radiation emitted from the shiny the shiny silver side the temperature of the radiation emitted from the matte white side the temperature of the radiation emitted from the shiny black side and the temperature of the radiation emitted from the black matte black surface you then draw a bar chart of your experimental results placing the temperature of the radiation emitted from the side on the y-axis and the and the color of the of the cube side on the x-axis and at this point you draw in your uh, your bars for your bar chart so what have we learned in today's lesson that all objects no matter what temperature emit and absorb infrared radiation the hotter the body the more infrared radiation it radiates in a given time a perfect black body is an object that absorbs all of the radiation incident on it a black body does not reflect or transmit any radiation now since a good absorber is also a good emitter a perfect black body will be the best possible emitter now different substances can absorb transmit reflect or refract electromagnetic waves in a ways that vary with wavelength and in this required practical activity required practical 10 we have investigated how the amount of infrared radiation absorbed or radiated by a surface depends on the nature of that surface so if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson we can detail the process of emission and absorption understand the emission and absorption rates of different objects and experimentally prove emission rates of objects and analyze experimental data. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on the radiation and absorption required practical which is part of the GCSE physics waves topic in separate science. Thank you very much for listening to this video and have a lovely day.